This video is not for scammers. Welcome to my channel's Striker24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create voice broadcast campaign with Google Text to Speech Engine. The Text to Speech campaign is useful for agentless dialing, for reminders like due date announcement, appointment announcement, wishing someone on date of birth prerequisites for Google text-to-speech support and VC dial VC dial latest version with admin and console access next Google TTS asterisk AGI script and supporting softwares like Perl Sox MPG 123 finally server should have a good internet access to contact Google and get Google voice data steps to be followed step 1 install the all prerequisites mentioned in previous slide step 2 download the Google TTS asterisk AGI script step 3 Writing asterisk dial plan to set the VC dial lead fields as channel variable, and play back those fields with Google TTS. Step 4, creating VC dial voice broadcast campaign with remote agent, which playbacks the text to speech. Step 1, installing the prerequisites. For Google TTS work with VC dial or asterisk, you need to install Perl, Perl hyphen lib www, Perl LWP protocol HTTPS, Socks, MPG123, and finally the asterisk should be loaded with Slin Audio Format Module. As I am using VC Box, so we'll be using Zyper command to install the software. If you are using Sentos use Yum and for Debian OS use apt-get. Let's jump to my demo server and finish the step 1. Log into your server console and install all the dependencies using Zyper install. Finally make sure, Slin Audio Module installed, my typing, module load format underscore SLN, under asterisk CLI. Step 2, downloading the Google TTS AGI script. The AGI script will download it from the GitHub, using the command git clone. Next you need to copy the AGI script to the asterisk AGI hyphen bin folder using cp command. Next you need to provide read and execute permission to the Google TTS AGI script using the command chmod755. Now jump to demo server and finish the step 2. As said browse to the link provided in this video description. Scroll down the page, you can find the download link, copy the link. Now paste the link in server console to download the Google TTS AGI script. Now navigate to the downloaded folder using cd command. Now copy the Google TTS.agi file to the asterisk AGI bin folder using the command the cp. Next we need to provide read and execute permission to the Google TTS script by typing chmod755 in the file name. Step 3, asterisk dial plan, we need to write two dial plans. One is, 
carrier dial plan to dial out and set the VC dial lead fields as channel variables. Second dial plan to use the Google TTS AGI to convert channel variable to speech and playback. You can write the dial plan, either in command line of asterisk extensions configuration file, or write it in the VC dial custom dial plan field under servers. Before writing the dial plan, we need to know the VC dial lead fields channel variable names. Here's the list of all VC dial lead fields set as channel variables, you can use it in dial plan with dollar symbol within flower bracket. Here we are going to use the first name and date of birth fields to playback name and announce his bank card payment to date. Here the list of all languages supported by Google TTS. For English use EN. For Tamil use TA. For Hindi use HI. Similarly add your language support in dial plan. As I said we need to write two dial plans. First one carrier dial plan, in this you need add one additional line with variable set AGI, as shown here. Which is going to set all the VC dial lead fields as channel variable. Next dial plan, with Google TTS AGI, as shown here. Which converts the text to speech and playback the same to the color. In this third line, you need to mention your text which you need to convert as speech. Along with the lead fields variables. In this dial plan I am using extension 778899 and use this in VC dial as remote agent extensions. Log into your VC dial admin page dot and click carriers menu. Now edit your existing trunk configuration and add the particular AGI dial plan in second line. As shown here, check this video description for the dial plan. Next we need to add our second dial plan, I recommend to write it in command line under extension.conf. Now edit the extensions.conf, using VI editor. Navigate to the default context, and add our Google TTS dial plan as show here. Dial plan provided in this video description. Best practice add multiple lines, if your text is lengthy. Now save the file, and reload the configuration by typing reload in the asterisk CLI. Step 4, creating the VC dial, voice broadcast campaign. Let's jump to be demo server to finish the step 4. Log into your VC dial admin page. Create a new default auto dial campaign. Enter, a campaign id. Enter, a campaign name. Enter, a campaign description. Disable the allow closers. Next set your minimum hopper level. Next set your local call time, I am setting it to 24 hours. Next in the detail view, set the dial method to ratio. Next enter your dial prefix, according to your dial plan. Next if required enable or disable the emit phone code. Finally enable no hopper leads logins, and press submit. Next we need to create users, that is agent. Enter the user number. Enter a password. Enter the full name of the agent and press submit. Next step to create remote agent. Click remote agent, and press add Enter remote the agent. user ID we just created. Enter one for number of lines. Now in external extension enter our dial plan number 7788 Change the status to active and select the campaign and press submit. Next create a list and upload your data, to start dialing and play back the message. Now for this demo, I am adding a single lead with first name, date of birth and phone number. Next go to the real time screen to see the call status. 
As soon I upload a lead I have received the call which plays the message. Hello Mr. William your credit card due date is the 30th of January 2021. If already paid kindly the start this call, have a nice day. Along with third party TTS, you can also use the asterisk default text to speech with say application. Like, say date, say time, say date time, say digits, say number, say alpha, say phonetic. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.